emission spectrum and absorption spectrum. Well, I will teach you the important concepts of emission and absorption spectrum. Firstly, let me teach you that what is a spectrum. Well, let consider this white light. Let I pass this white light through the prism. We know that this prism divides this white light into seven different colors. These seven colors are Webgeor. I mean, V stands for violet color, I stands for indigo color, B stands for blue color, G stands for green color, Y stands for yellow color, O stands for orange color, and R stands for red color. Remember that these seven colors have their own wavelengths. I mean, the wavelength of indigo is different from the wavelength of blue color, the wavelength of green color is different from the wavelength of yellow color, and so on. So we say that all these colors have different wavelengths. Now listen carefully. The white light contains seven colors. This ray of seven color is called spectrum. Therefore, we define spectrum as a ray of white light spread out to a series of a colored band is called spectrum. Let me repeat it. A ray of white light spread out to a series of colored band is called spectrum. Thus remember that spectrum is a collection of seven colors or different wavelengths. Now we will learn important concept of absorption and emission. Let consider this atom. Let white light falls on this atom. We know that the electron of this atom absorb energy or wavelength. Let this electron absorb red light or red wavelength. As a result, this electron will move from lower energy level to higher energy level. Now listen carefully. After some time, this electron emits the absorbed energy or the absorbed wavelength. I mean, it will emit this red wavelength because this wavelength was absorbed. Let me repeat it. This electron will emit this red wavelength because it was absorbed. Thus we learn that an atom can absorb a specific wavelength or specific color and it moves to higher energy level or excited state. After some time, the atom emits the absorbed wavelength. Now we will learn about absorption spectrum. Let us consider sodium chloride solution in this object. Let white light falls on this solution. We know that this solution will absorb some colors of the white light. I mean, it will absorb certain wavelengths. Secondly, it will radiate the remaining light colors. Now I place here prism. I pass the radiated light through this prism. After passing through the prism, we trace the light on this screen. We can observe dark lines on the screen. Like this dark line, this dark line, and this dark line. Hence we say that this ray of dark lines is called absorption spectrum. Here, let me teach you one important question. Why does an absorption spectrum show dark lines? Well, it is because some colors of the white light is absorbed by the sodium chloride solution due to which they are missing. As a result, they appear dark or missing on the screen. Therefore, we define absorption spectrum as the spectrum of radiation absorbed by a substance after passing light through it is called absorption spectrum. Let me repeat it. The spectrum of radiation absorbed by a substance after passing light through it is called absorption spectrum. Thus remember that absorption spectrum is formed on the screen when a substance absorbs some colors of the white light. Now we will learn about emission spectrum. 
Let's consider hot gas in this object. Let it radiates the absorbed wavelength or absorbed radiation. Now I place here prism and I pass this radiated wavelength or these radiations through the prism. Lastly, I trace these radiations on the screen. As a result, we can see colors on the screen like red color, yellow color, blue color, violet color, etc. This spectrum of colored lines is called emission spectrum. Let me repeat it. This spectrum of colored lines is called emission spectrum. Here, let me teach you an important question. Why does an emission spectrum show colored lines? Well, it is because the hot gas is radiated the absorbed colors. I mean, initially, the hot gas has absorbed these colors. After some time, it radiated back these absorbed colors, which we see as colored lines on the screen. Therefore, we define emission spectrum as the spectrum of radiation emitted by an excited substance after absorbing energy is called emission spectrum. Let me repeat it. The spectrum of radiations emitted by an excited substance after absorbing energy is called emission spectrum. Thus remember that emission spectrum is emitted colors that is radiated back by a substance like hot gases. Hence note it down. Now let me teach you some daily life examples of absorption spectrum and emission spectrum. The first example of absorption spectrum is colored objects and clothing. When you see a red shirt, the fabric is absorbing all the colors of light except red. The specific wavelength of red light are reflected back to your eyes creating the color we perceive. This happens because the shirt absorbs other wavelengths of visible light, leaving the red light to be reflected. The daily life examples of emission spectrum is TV and computer screens. Modern displays, including TVs and computer monitors, uses phosphorus or LEDs that emit lights in specific wavelength to create colors on the screen. Now we will learn difference between absorption spectrum and emission spectrum. An absorption spectrum can be defined as spectrum formed by transmitting electromagnetic radiation through a substance. While we define an emission spectrum as spectrum of electromagnetic radiations emitted by a substance. Secondly, Absorption spectrum is produced when atom absorb energy, while emission spectrum is produced when atoms release energy. Thirdly, absorption spectrum show dark lines or gaps on the screen, while emission spectrum show colored lines on the screen. Fourthly, an absorption spectrum, an atom obtains a higher energy level. While an emission spectrum, an atom obtains a lower energy level. Hence, these are the some important differences between absorption spectrum and emission spectrum.